Holly Macker here from Elkhart Instructional Tech. We are talking today about Apple Classroom and how it can help make your life easier when managing a classroom of iPads. Let's first look at how to view student iPads from Apple Classroom. When you first open your class, you will see icons next to each student's name based on which app or apps are open. To switch over to screen view, simply press the waffle in the top menu bar. You can also view just one student iPad. Notice the student has two apps open. You can view just one student screen by selecting their name and press screen. Here I can help redirect the student by navigating the student to the app they are supposed to be using and locking their app to ensure they stay where they need to be. We can also use Apple Classroom to mute student iPads. You can mute one student iPad by selecting the student's name and pressing mute. You can mute all student iPads by pressing the speaker in the top menu bar. Next, let's look at how we can navigate a student iPad to a specific app. Select the stack icon in the top menu bar. A list of available apps will appear. Tap the app you'd like to open for your students. Remember, you have the option to lock students into an app from the screen by toggling on the switch at the bottom of the pop-up. We can also navigate student iPads to specific websites. The first method to navigate students to a website is through the Share All button. Ensure Apple Classroom has been opened, then navigate on Safari to the site you want your students to access. Press the Share All button, select AirDrop, then select your class. The next method is by using drag and drop. We are first going to split our screen by selecting the three dot menu at the top of our screen and select Split View. Choose Safari as your second screen. Click and hold the link in the navigation bar until you see it physically pop out of the navigation bar. You can now drag that link across your screen and drop it to one student, to a group of students, or to the whole class. The last way is through a saved bookmark on Safari. You can save a bookmark by opening the link you want to save, pushing the share button and selecting add bookmark. When on Classroom, select the Navigate button, select Safari, and locate your bookmark. We can also use Apple Classroom to send files to student iPads. Be sure that Classroom has been opened. Open the Files app. Open the file you want to share. Press the Share button, select AirDrop, and then select your class. We can also quickly create groups in Apple Classroom to help differentiate classwork. Push the Select button in the top menu bar, then select the students you want in a group. Push New Group in the bottom left corner. Here you can name your group. These groups will now appear in the left-hand menu and under the AirDrop when attempting to share with students. Our last quick tip allows students to AirDrop work to their teacher iPad. While open in their classwork, students can select the Share All button, then select AirDrop. Their teacher's name will appear in the AirDrop option as long as the teacher has opened their class on Classroom that day. The teacher will get a notification and can find their shared work in Classroom under the sharing icon. I hope these quick tips can help you get started using Apple Classroom to better manage your student devices. Be on the lookout for our next video in Apple Classroom that will highlight ways to make student learning more visible and to keep yourself and your students organized throughout the day. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, check out our podcast on letstalked.tech, and we'll see you next time.